Good morning viewers, I'm here this morning uh, to uh, play in the uh, chess.com crazy house championship qualifier number three. Um, I've got the um, website open here. Um, you can see Yasser Sirwan, uh, I am Daniel Wrench and um, this is uh, a $2,000 prize event. Um, it's taking place uh, the qualifiers are taking place between February 12th and February 16th at 10 a.m. and 5 p.m. each day. Um, so two qualifiers have already happened uh, yesterday. Um, this is qualifier three. Um, yeah, basically the top 10 players of each tournament will go through to the final, which is to be played on February 22nd. Um, it's three minutes time limit, uh, no increment, $2,000 in prize money. Let's have a look at the prizes. Um, 500 for first, um, 400 for second, 300 for third, 200 for fourth, 100 for fifth. And then they've also got some um, streamer prizes, which is really cool. So most viewed stream, um, other stream prizes, you know, most followers gained, chess.com stuff, voted stream. Uh, so there's a lot of encouragement to, to, to get the Crazy House content going. Um, so I'll definitely be streaming on the day. Um, I, I, I played last year, or, or rather it was about 14 months ago, and um, I was co-champion with uh, FM Dan Yeager, otherwise known as uh, Chicken Crossroad. Um, so yes, I believe there's a mention of us just here. Um, this is the second edition of the Chess.com Crazy House Championship. FM Dan Yeager and Justin Tan won the inaugural uh, championship in December 2016. Okay, so we are going to get started shortly. Um, I'm just going to wait for uh, the first game to start. Uh, we've got about two minutes. Um, let's take a look at today's lineup. I will need to adjust. Um, my uh, webcam, depending on where the board lands when the games start. Um, so, yeah, for the time being, let's leave it there. So I've got myself here. We've got got Crypto Chess, um, Hako Bayan Aram 1002, MJB 223. So, so this this is a this is a fairly strong lineup. Um, I believe we had some strong players already qualify in, in number one and two. I saw teams like Master Tan, like Juan, they came third and fourth last year. Um, Chicken Crossroad, I believe, is already in. Um, uh, School Meester, otherwise known as Opal Wesson, he's already qualified. I think he got seven out of seven. Um, who else did we have? I think Jeffrey X. So. Yeah, there's, there's already a lot of strong players in, um, in the first 20, so there's another 80 to go. Yeah, the rules are, um, you can play in more than one qualifier, but you can only, if you qualify in one, then, um, you know, even if you score well in a following qualifier, um, you can't qualify twice. So basically your position will go to the next best player. So, you know, if, if one person qualified in qualifier one and they qualified again in number two then you know if they if they got first and players two to eleven will make it so um yeah it's not like you know it's not like the top players can keep everyone else out there has to be 100 unique starters um, on the day um, so there's a lot of opportunity there's there's still eight qualifiers to go okay looks like we're about to get started so let me just adjust the screen Okay, good luck to all the players. So I'm up against y Yuki Terry Kun. Okay, French defense. So yeah, I've got to get used to the interface a little bit. Um, I'm playing with a larger board than usual. Okay, we've got an advanced French, so I'm just going to develop naturally.
Okay, knight h6 player two. Very tempting to take this. And play knight at g7, come back. I don't have to take it though. Um, I actually think I'll, I'll leave this one. I'm just going to support d4 to begin with. So knight, knight g4. Okay, he's gone back. So on this occasion, maybe I should take it. And the difference here is I've got this pawn now pushed up to h3, so it, it covers g4. Um, otherwise, bishop at g4 was a possibility before. So I'd like a pawn to put on g7. Okay, let's move back in the corner. So I'll, I'll just develop here. Queen c2 is also natural at some stage. Yeah, we'll, we'll back off the night. Okay, this is good from Black, so he's getting developed a little. He's giving me a pawn though. So let's just try to keep things secure. Now we've both got a minute left, so I've got to watch that clock. Grab some material up here. So King G8, Bishop at F6, and then Rook at H8 will be a, a mate threat. Playing for the checks. Okay, we'll go this way. I want to pick off his queen with bishop at h6. That's his best attacker. All right, let's let's race to the finish. Okay, got the uh, got the first win. That's good. Okay.
Guess we'll wait to uh, wait for the others to finish. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember the interface. Hey, Bella. Hey. I'm here. You okay? Didn't expect you to be awake. How come you're awake? Do you need the bathroom? No. Yeah, we need to go back to bed. Alright, it's like 5am here. I can't believe Bella woke up, but that's how it is. You just want to wait here with me? Okay. Let's see. So, we've got Kyle Legion now. Okay. Where is that photo? Uh, I don't know. The photo? No. Hang on, Bill. Okay, what do we want to do here? We've got this pawn coming off. Can I do anything with that? Hey, there are red squares because that's where daddy might move. Okay, we'll need to get back to bed, okay? We just watch one game and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in bed next to mum, okay? Alright, so he's, he's going to come after me on, on dark squares. Now let's see, should I come back to E8 or maybe go to E4? I think I think we'll play it safe. We'll just defend here. Before there's too many pawns, we'll just we'll just stay solid, and then my play will be on the light squares. Uh, yeah, we wanna wanna hit him here. I've got a piece for a pawn. I've got to make it count. Are you the black team? I'm the black team. That's right, pal. How would you all play out? Yep. Shh, hang on. Your play. How can your chess player um yep. play this? Huh? Oh, he's he's on the internet, so he's on a different place on another computer like me. And then the computer talks through the internet, through the wires, and then, yeah, that's how it works. Wow. Okay. Bring this in. So I've got my knights all on light squares, so I should have lots of dark uh, square coverage. Yeah, Bell. I will bring that everything to our new house. We'll, we'll, we'll find a way. Maybe a big truck? Maybe. And we'll tell them which roads to go. Yeah, maybe we'll do it that way. Uh, 
Okay, he's he's got 30 seconds left. I've got a minute 35. Okay. Let's let's press on the light squares. No, he can't hear me. Well, maybe he can hear me. It depends if he's on my channel or not. Okay, we're just working our way in. Hold on, Bill. So preserve the queen. Yeah, that's my queen. Alright, I've just got to go put my daughter back to bed. I'll be back soon, guys. Right, I'm back, and with two minutes twenty to spare. Okay, let's go. A little bit concerned about the clock here, as I'm short on short on time, having started this game late. Let's grab this guy. Uh -oh. 
one sec. So while he's, because he's got his rook on g8, I'm banking his king's still going to be here. Whether or not the sacrifice is sound is another thing, but this king's going to be a target to try to win some material back with bishop at c6. Um, and then I can grab this rook for free, but then the bishop also covers me back, back at home. Now that's very important that f3 is covered. Okay, a minute left on the clock. I can try to come in on the back rank because he's king stranded. Let's put the rook on. Okay. He doesn't have a knight in hand, so knight at f3 is no longer playable. If he plays bishop h3, I can take the queen or take the knight, and then my bishop covers g2, so I'm not getting mated. Yeah, take the queen. I think I'll take the knight. It's just a little more dangerous for him because knight e6. This this discovered check is threatening mate. Um, so yeah, this, this should be mate here. So if king e8, queen at e7. If king c8, pawn at b7. So yeah, a bit of a um, practical sacrifice. Queen takes c6, sacking the queen. Okay, now um, I can't believe Bella woke up, so I'm just glad that I uh, get her back to bed and try to get back before my time runs out. Okay. What's going on in the chat? Viro90 says, wow, you look tired, good luck. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's 5 a.m. here, so... Um, Gius Bold says, nice to see you streaming, John. Yeah, okay, a few people concerned that I wasn't back at the seat when the game started. That's alright. Okay, what's... Okay, this is the, the standings, I believe. So, how does this work? Still a few games going on. Let's have a look at M. My M. Michael against Chuck Lamanche. Okay, we're down to the last 11 tests. This is a close, close game, but Chuck Lamanche doesn't quite have enough in hand. But M. Michael is going to take this one. I believe that M. Michael is has already qualified, actually. Um, Okay, we might be going back to the matches now. Close this. I think there'll be there'll be many left to go. No games in progress. Okay. Okay, we've got uh, Zlot, Zloty Smok. Um, Okay, we've got another French. Okay, it's the French with A6B5. So this is this is um, classic 12 team kind of opening. And as white, I like to to push here. We might we might prepare with Queen E2 first.
take one pawn, d5. Okay, this position's new to me, so let's just work it out slowly. All right, bring a pawn there. Okay, but that bishop's hanging, so I'm going to take it. So white's pawn up. So how do we make that one pawn count? So what's got nice development here? Black's still a little bit behind. Um, I could play knight at f5, but I'm, I'm just going to keep my extra pawn and progress slowly. There's things like pawn at d5 as well. Um, I don't need to open up the position or make all the trades happen all at once. We can proceed slowly. Pawn at f4. I'll give up the rook here. I like the bishop pair here, just gives good control of the center. And you can't really do too much with the rook. When you've got a block position, the rooks don't play as much because you can block the files quite easily. But if I have dark square weaknesses, then a bishop might be more useful to my opponent. So, okay, now it's, now it's my turn to put a few pieces on, so ignoring the fact that I can take his queen, that's alright, he was going for knight f4, okay, he's just trying to get the queen instead. I've just got to be careful, I think I'll, I'll grab the material here. So if he had another pawn, that would be quite dangerous because king takes rook at e2, king g1, queen at f2, that would be mate. So I need to be careful. So I'm going to use a bishop to block here. That way this bishop covers f2. And if we recapture, I still have safety on the dark squares. That's his only way in. If I was to block with pawn at d4, he could take it. If c takes, then pawn at f2 might be a threat. Okay, so he's, he's got... Um, Put it on f4. He's playing bishop at d6 to cover queen at e7, mate. Maybe I can play pawn at d7 here. But okay, I'm, I'm just going to take it easy. He might, he might sack the rook. All right. I don't think black will have enough to to mate here. Shall we be greedy? Let's not be too greedy. We'll, we'll back off. Okay, we'll have we'll have mates soon. So queen at d7 and queen c7. So if king d5, put this here. Okay. So where, why can't I see the leaderboard properly? Oh, maybe I have to sort it somehow. So, oh, so those are the games still in progress, right? So, 
Yeah, we got a number of us on four out of four. So in Hallowell, Juan at Crazy House. So Juan at one of the, the top ten players in the world, in my opinion. He's been improving considerably in the last couple of years. Um, and, and he definitely uh, is a contender uh, for the title. He came equal third last year with Master 10. Um, MJB223, also another strong player from Canada. Um, he's been on the circuit for a long time. Um, but yeah, look, a lot of players on four out of four. So, you know, it's only seven rounds. You've got to prove your worth here. Okay, so Alt 19. I've got, I've got the black guys. Uh, Flourish says, hey John, great to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Alright, let's let's play E4, E5. Let's see how this goes. Alright, how do I want to play this? So yeah, I mean E4, E5 is is a classical favorite from from way back. Um, but in in more recent days, um, there's there's been more theoretical development, and um, yeah, I gotta say it's it's not as easy as it used to be playing E4, E5. You always used to get a balanced position. Now now people know a lot of different lines, so you've you've got to watch out. Um, Let's let's stay aggressive here. So I've played d5 to really make sure I have open lines for all my pieces. Um, white is also open here, so I have to play the middle game as sharp as I can. So the pin really really plays here um, on the knight. Let's see if I take here, he takes a bit of a calculation. I think this makes sense. Takes a queen, I take his queen. He gets another check, but then I'm threatening queen at d1, mate. Flip to d8. Maybe king f8 was better, actually. I missed that. Yeah, that king should have gone to f8. So this, this is an ideal. All right, I actually need to play safe now. I, I don't like this. So if he takes, maybe I can play bishop c3 takes, pawn at d2. Do I have enough to mate? All right, I'm going to go for it. Not going to think too long about it because I have knight at d4 or knight at e4. So. Instinctively, it just it just looks like I should have mate, but I haven't seen all the lines. Because this queen in hand is is just so dangerous. Okay, let's let's be accurate here. The bishop f5 is also a possibility. Queen e4. Queen e4 takes. Yeah, I think I need a bit more material, so I'm gonna play bishop f5. Get another piece in the mix. Uh, I don't want to take too long on the clock here. Okay.
So if king c3, I take the knight with check. If king d4, I take the knight with check here. Alright, so that should be it. Yeah, without without seeing all the mate there, it just looked like there was too much attack potential. Um, okay. What games can we have a look at? Let's let's have a look at I am Crypto Chess. Okay, White's looking good here, so you can grab D8, B8. You want to put some things on dark squares potentially, or just grab the rook. But White's White's got this one in the bag. Winning on time, winning on position. <clears throat> All right, how are the other standing is going. Let's have a look. I'm, I'm confident that that's going to be in in White's favour. So we've got three of us. So three veterans of the game. Uh, myself, Shawanet, MJB, all on five out of five. So. Next game is going to be a tough one. It's probably going to be against Juanet. Okay, let's close this. Alright. I may not comment as much on this one. We'll try to play well. Okay, not much longer to go. Oh, there's still there's still a few games. All right, I get MJB. All right. Okay. I, I want I want to be quick in the opening here. I don't want to take too much time. So e4, e5, this is a balanced, a balanced opening here. <clears throat> yeah, can't really do anything with this just yet. Castle. Let's just get, let's just get developed. How do we open from here? So it's very important to try to control the king side. So while all the pieces are even, um, you know, as as white here, I kind of get the first go at hitting black, I want to try to, to use uh, the, the tempo efficiently. So look, that, that looks like it makes sense. He's got bishop at g7, that's natural. He's going to be able to hold on to a few things, but now I've got a trick. Um, if bishop at h8, I can take f6 with this knight here. And then after takes here, I can play knight h6. So, got a few weaknesses to hit. Now, pawn at g5 is a possibility, knight g4 is a possibility. We'll go for pawn at g5. 
<clears throat> so here, here I just want to really try to tear black to shreds as fast as I can. It's going to take here, queen g4. So looking at tricks with knight f7 check, putting things on dark squares or queen g6. White's got a lot to play for here. But, but white has to attack fast before black can put things on. So knight at f6 is not really a concern. I can take the pawn, queen takes, pawn at g, g5, king g7, pawn at h6, king g8, takes the knight with check, pawn at h7. That looks horrible for black. Um, so we'll see what he comes up with. Um, okay. Yeah, he has to play queen takes f7 to cover queen g6 and 8. And then now, I, do I use the bishop or the pawn? Probably doesn't really matter much. Or is there a sharper way? Ah, so bishop at g7 is the best way. So cut the king off from going back to g7 first. So I want to put a bishop or a queen here. Then I can play pawn at g5. That forces the queen trade and also forces the king forward, and that's just a clean finish. Clinical. So very happy with how I played that game. Very happy. <coughs> Alright, I'm on 6 out of 6. So I think I will qualify. Um, but yeah, looking looking for uh, this last match. Let's see what let's see what M. Michael and, and Joan at Crazy House are doing. So Joan at M. Michael's putting up a good fight here. I think I think M. Michael's better. So M. Michael has a slight material advantage, and when I say slight and crazy house, that's like a whole rook. Um, so I shouldn't say slight, he, he has a material advantage, he's got a safe king, he's got two bishops defending. It's the clock that's only the concern for M. Michael, so that's where Jouardet may get him. So Jouardet having to bunker down here, he might consider queen e4. Knight at f7, king e7, queen at f8, king e6, knight d8, if king here, rook c5 here, c3 is mate, so he has to go to f5, then pawn at g4 is awful. He can't bring this queen off the back rank. Um, f7 has to be defended, so he's, he's only got 20 seconds left. I think M. Michael's going to take this one. Oh, he's... Why did he give that rook there? Maybe he didn't see bishop takes h8. He was probably going for the queen h8 knight at f7 trick. But bishop c1 would be good. No, he's got queen at f8. This is all over. And Michael's going to take this. Uh, queen e7 mates. Oh dear. Uh, he'll be fine. Well done, and Michael. So M. Michael takes down a, a big scalp there. Juan, a strong player. Um, so that actually puts me in the outright lead, I believe. Six out of six. So I should get equal first at the least. So um, yeah, let's let's focus. Still one more game. And I get you on it, okay. Right. Now, Juanet is one of the most aggressive players in the game. So I'm going to try to take it to him. Uh, what's this about? Got to be good on position and good on the clock. Um, he's a very good player.
so I think this position's well, it's at least new to me. Maybe it's not new to him, but um, I've got to figure out where this goes. It's a good move, picking up the piece. I had to concede that. Okay, let's try to make some weaknesses. White's position, try to get some compensation. Uh, it's a bit, a bit, a bit funny this move. Alright, why not? Let's play. <laughs> So, importantly, this protects myself against bishop at a4 check, um, which would win the knight. And the tactics kind of work out with um, knight d4 hitting the queen. Now he's hit me here. Ooh, yeah, this, this looks dangerous. Because after queen here, he's got bishop at a4. So I kind of felt like I was asking for trouble doing this. Yeah, I gotta play queen d7. So this is an ideal, he's got a good opening. <clears throat> so instead of queen d4, I should maybe have tried something else. Okay. Gotta, I gotta try to go for some counterplay. So what about knight at f4? Knight at... I'll go for it. So if king d2, I have bishop b4 check to try to get my king to safety. Um, king d1 is probably the most accurate. No, he's, he's given me bishop b4 check. Um, king d1 was probably most accurate. But here he's still fine. He's still up a lot of material. So he's just got to be careful of getting mated. Pawn c3, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen e2. I'm not, I'm not even going to think about it too much. Okay, if he took this way, he was getting mated for sure. So now, do I have something here? So let's make it hard for him to go back to d2. He has to give up some material at least. All right, I'm, I'm going to sack the queen without even thinking here. And importantly, I'm just blocking him off c3. So let's see if we can get a mating net around his king with what we have. Still playing on instinct here. I think it's mate. So knight at a5, king here, b6. Yeah, I have enough, so I've actually got mate. So I didn't expect this. Um, if he had played king d1 instead of king d2, I think I think white's winning. It's not all over, but, um, you know, white would win the material. Um, and it's just that fine whether you play king d2 or king d1 um, at this level. That's what makes the difference. So he definitely had me in the in the opening, but um, he, he let me out of the bag a little bit. So here, let's just be accurate. Um, e5. If king e4, knight at d6. So king c5, and then b6. All everything is just held together. So I welcome him to my den and get a checkmate with pawn at e7. Um, yeah, that was uh, 
yeah, surprising finish there. Um, I'm I'm very happy with how I played there, just practically, um, just from my point of view, um, you know, wrapping up seven out of seven in a qualifier is good. Just getting used to the format. Um, I, I would say, yeah, th this practical approach is most important. I was worse out of the opening, but but on the day of the final, I really think it's it's going to be about just just the results at the end of the day and if you can you, you'll get into some unfamiliar positions it's if you can come back from them um, and, and find these kinds of, of sharp things where you just you don't even have to calculate the mate you can just kind of feel it and see it um, play with a bit of intuition trust your gut um, I think that's that's very important um, so look um, yeah happy to qualify um, happy to get through with with seven out of seven um, probably didn't deserve it from that last game there, but uh, I, I took a small opportunity. Um, okay, it's uh, it's 5:47 a.m. here. I've got work today, so I'm actually going to close off the stream there, try to get back to sleep, um, and then uh, get ready for work. Um, so there you have it. This tournament finished. Um, that's the third qualifier done. There are seven more qualifiers, so definitely encourage you to play. It is completely open to anyone. Uh, I believe all you need to do is join the uh, Crazy House Club that's on chess.com and then you can join this tournament. Um, I believe you know all qualifiers will then be invited to a select uh, group um, which then allows you to play in the final on the 22nd. So again, you, you can't qualify twice, you can play in multiple qualifiers, but um, there's, you know, there's an opportunity for 70 more places um, still, so yeah, definitely get into it. Um, you know, a huge thanks to chess.com for putting up the money two thousand dollars and organizing this. Um, yeah, it's great to see that the, the event's back. Um, so, really looking forward to it. Um, I'm going to close off the stream there. Thank you to all the, the viewers for joining. Um, you'll uh, see me. At, at the final, that's uh, 22nd February at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Until then, take care.